Hi, it's Tanya. This is my 10th process video using the January Hip Kit and I do believe this is my 4th layout with the kit. I've changed my angle slightly so at least it's... I've zoomed in a bit more so hopefully you can see more of my process this way and less of my stomach. <laughs> the photos here are of my youngest with her boyfriend. It was Valentine's Day and they were going to a dance. So they were all dressed up and super excited about it. I have been using a lot of the 6x6 paper pad with my layouts. It's it's great. And the only thing I think is that because I'm doing this and I'm not using up too much of the 12x12 papers other than for backgrounds, I think I'm going to find that I'm going to run out of embellishments before paper. I know. Isn't that a turnaround? Before it was a case of too little paper and too many embellishments. Genius on Kimberly's part to put these 6x6 paper pads in. Okay, anyway, that Hello Darling 3x4 card you are going to see, it goes from right to left to right again, it goes up and down, and in a while you'll see that the poor thing just it finds a new spot on the page. Don't even know why. I battled so much with it, but there you go. I'm doing a sort of, I don't know, diagonal, I suppose, with those 6x6 six six papers. And I do change my mind quite a bit in, in the process. But that's what I do. I, I don't know, I hum and haw, but then I've mentioned this before. So, But I thought, um, a funny thing, that Happy Valentine's Day, I knew I wanted that as my title. And when I was faffing around earlier and seeing where I'd like to place it, it got stuck to the photograph and it wasn't going to come off, so it had to be like that. So, there's a lot of so's in that sentence, my apologies. In order for the title to stand out more, I placed the blue paper at the bottom, otherwise it kind of got lost with the white on white. And there you see what happens to that poor 3 by 4 The whole thing gets almost hidden. But I was picking up the, the yellows. That yellow is a... It's funny enough, it's the yellow sheet that comes with the Land Rover that I spoke about in our previous my previous video. Uh, it's like an awning attached and my husband was cleaning it and they thought this is a great backdrop. It did make it a little difficult to scrapbook because it's so yellow. But uh, I made it work and I have the pops of yellow coming through. I was actually quite pleased to see some yellow in in this kit because I don't know, I don't really scrap with yellow very much, but now now I'm em I'm embracing the yellow. Good on me. <laughs> I'm just waffling. Those are also the the cut apart sheet, the three by fours. Uh, having a look to see. Yeah, seems okay. What else can I add to it? Ah, yes. I thought that it needed something at the top there because of the, the heaviness of the title at the bottom and that heart says kiss kiss on it, which I cover up a bit later because you know how young kids are. They're 16 and they yeah, too much lovey dovey stuff and it doesn't work for them. So I try and not make these pages, you know, all about undying love. Although, having said that, these two have been together for nearly two years now, which in high school world is well, I've been practically married for like 15 years. So <laughs> they're, they're a cute couple. They seem to like each other quite a lot. Those are from the sticker roll, the Dear Lizzie sticker roll. That I'm just putting in various spots around the page. That, well, I'll explain a little bit later, but that 14, it, it also has quite a journey. Ooh, sorry journey on this page. Yep, it's coming up because I didn't like where I was placing that wood veneer frame. Uh, I'm slowly starting to get more and more into the sort of mixed media or well my variation of mixed media. I wanted to make the tag th a sort of pinky colour to, to match with the layout so first I used that Tim Holtz sponge sugar it's one of the distress stains, but that didn't didn't really work. So then I went for I think it's 
picked raspberry or something. It's it's one of his distress paints. And I thought it was too pink in the beginning to just go on it. But having then gone around with that, I thought, no, stuff it. I'm just going to do it anyway. It was a lot easier, but as you will see, wow, no, that is just too pink. So think, think, think. Ah, let's try some white from Studio Calico's shine, those mists. But that also, once I got around that, didn't really seem to work either. So then I thought, ah, let me dab it a bit. And, well, I think I pretty much ended up with what I had kind of started off with, but it's a little two-tone, and, eh, I think it, it, it kind of works. It, it doesn't look too bad. In real life, it, it looks better than I think it does in the video now. So, so yeah. I am starting to use a lot of my mixed media stuff and it's great. There, I'm gluing that 14 down. And just adding a few doodads or bits and bobs or... Yeah, those little die cuts. And a couple of puffy stickers. That nice hot pink. Then I want to... Uh, yeah. Just adding, yeah, I put that at the top there because of the hot pink. I wanted to, to kind of get that distribution. Ah, there I sprayed those cork. They're nice. I, I'm not particularly keen on cork in its raw form. So I do like to colour them up a bit to, yeah, I don't know, just they're, they're a little prettier to me when they're coloured. And grouping of three and then my daughter came and had a look and because she has a vested interest in this because of course it's a page about her she said mom why do you have 14 there she said it wasn't 2014 so I said no no no, no. 14th is for 14th of February and the 2015 is below no mom no 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 that's just stupid so yeah the 14 came up along with don't you find with those with those chipboard things, you pull them off and then the rest of it stays behind, so you have to pull that off as well. So I did ask her if I could add some hearts there, and she said yes, of course, because it's a Valentine's page, so I got to put the hearts down to cover up the mess of removing the 14. And actually, in, in hindsight, it does look a lot prettier than <laughs> I had before. Here I'm just adding a little bit more of that pink to the cork to make it look a bit prettier. And I think I am about done. Am I done? Oh no. Oh, she thought the page looked a bit weird, so I added a bit of the blue up the top there to try and even it out. And there you have it. There are my still photos. I hope you enjoyed the new angle and my process video and my rambling. And I wish you all a great day and week. Bye now.